Let's talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and where it stands at the box office, what this means for superhero movies going forward. Because unlike a lot of the Phase 4 garbage from Marvel that we got, and even Phase 5, because Ant-Man wasn't that great either, this is probably going to be the last really good Marvel movie. In fact, I don't know if I even want to call it really good. It was a good movie. It's the best Marvel movie since Infinity War and Endgame, for sure. Uh, I don't count Spider-Man in there because that's a Sony movie. As much as people want to try and argue that it's in the MCU, but it's still a Sony movie. So this is the last MCU movie or Marvel movie that I think you're going to see outside of maybe Spider-Man because that character, Sony, really needs to do well, so they're going to keep him as good as they possibly can for now. Maybe that'll change. But Guardians of the Galaxy 3, I would, I would give this movie a solid 7.5 out of 10. Almost an 8, but I'm not, I'm not quite there with it. This is a very different Guardians of the Galaxy movie, too, compared to the first two, because this one's very serious, and it has a lot of emotional moments. It is it is also very much a finale for these characters. I won't say any more than that. I, I don't want to give away too many spoilers, because it's the first weekend, and I don't think that that's cool. So I will say if you like the first two, you'll probably like this one. And... You can kind of see it as a send-off to the MCU because, I mean, what's next? The Marvels? You think that movie's going to be good? No. <laughs> that movie's going to be shit. So, if anything, you know what this movie did? It made me excited for James Gunn's DC Universe. I know Snyder bros don't like to hear that, but uh, I wasn't a huge fan of Snyder. James Gunn is pretty, pretty good with comic book stuff so far. Suicide Squad was good. I liked Peacemaker. I've liked all of his Guardians movies. I think uh, I think the guy knows what he's doing with comic book stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. The question I have, though, after looking at the box office for this film, is will anyone care about James Gunn's DC Universe? Because I think now we can start talking about superhero fatigue. This movie is being compared to Ant-Man and the Wasp quantum mania i'm not kidding this is the deadline article but uh, neon here from clownfish posted it on twitter what i would was going to read from it anyway and he's right uh, i've heard guardians of the galaxy volume 3 is very good but it's still hovering around 110 million for the weekend and is now being compared to ant-man 3 oof no matter how good the movie is if no one goes and sees it it's not it's not going to, if it's not going to break the box office, it's a failure. Plenty of good movies fail at the box office. That's a fact. But for it to win, it needs to do succeed at the box office. To be, For it to be seen as a success, it needs to make money at the box office. And that's not going to happen. Exclusive. The James Gunn directed Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is spotting 47 through 48 million today, including 17.5 million in previews for what will hopefully be a... 110 million start at 4,450 theaters. One analyst tells us that dollar for dollar, the Marvel Studios title is looking a lot like Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Both movies did about 37 million in pre-sales, with the later debuting to a franchise record of 106.1 million over its Friday Sunday. Even though the 2017 Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 did 17 million in previews, then a 56 million Friday for a 146.5 domestic opening, the highest in the series. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is a different beast. So here's the thing. So remember Ant-Man and the Wa Ant-Man and the Wasp or Ant-Man 3 or whatever you want to call it, Quantum Mania, had a good franchise setting opening weekend, and then it fell off a cliff. The difference between this movie and Ant-Man, though, is this movie will have good word of mouth, I think. 
So the question really is in how this movie performs in the second weekend. And I'm going to go over that in a second. But the real hope for this movie is the global. So 110 domestic opening. What does the global number look like? This could be a disaster. And this could be a sign of the end for Marvel because this is a good movie. This isn't a bad movie. It's got problems for sure. Uh, it's, it's not the best Guardians movie either. The first one is still King. The first Guardians of the Galaxy, in my opinion, is one of the best Marvel movies. You, anybody can watch that movie. Anybody. You don't need to even have watched any Marvel to watch that movie and enjoy it. That's an advantage, to be honest. But, in fact, you could watch this with very little MCU knowledge. You kind of need to have seen Infinity War and Endgame, though, because of Gamora. But, for the most part, they even kind of explain what's going on with her in the movie. So, you could probably watch this without having seen shit, to be honest. So, this movie, not doing the greatest. Being compared to Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is not a good thing because that movie lost money. <laughs> no matter how you want to look at it, it lost money. That's a fact. So how will this movie do? What is the long term? What is the long term for this movie? And it has a couple of things going for it. The thing that it has going for it is that Word of mouth could save it. It has people, people like the movie. For once, it's a rarity. Critics and audiences are on the same page. It's good. That's a rarity because the movie is not, I didn't think the movie was woke. The movie is just a fun movie. Told a story, uh, which is what you want from a movie. So word of mouth could save it. What does that drop look like next week? Because next week is the real picture for this story, for this movie. Uh, a flop would kind of be a shocker because as noted here in the Cosmic Book News article, as I previously wrote, I'll be surprised if Guardians of the Galaxy 3 flops at the box office, and while the opening weekend may not equal that of Volume 2, maybe Volume 3 will have legs. Of note, Super Mario Brothers is only dropping 55% this week in its five-week total, which is going to bring in another $18.5 million. The thing, that, the, the thing that this movie shares with Super Mario Brothers is that it doesn't have any competition for a couple of weeks. Uh, there was some movies that got dropped in front of Mario, but none of them were of a Guardian's level, and by that I mean blockbuster, marketing, stuff like that. Uh, the only competition for Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is Fast X, and that doesn't come out till May 19th. And then June, you see Spider-Verse and Transformers, and then The Flash, and then Indiana Jones. That's going to be a fun conversation because look at that front-loaded. Look at all those movies. They're going to cannibalize each other. Flop, 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 I think, because you have too many movies in the same period of time right there. Guardians of the Galaxy doesn't have anything in its way until May 19th. That will likely help this movie. However, if this movie still sees a, a huge drop and no one goes to see it with no competition, that's bad news for Marvel. That, that means it's over because this movie should, should hit a billion dollars, to be honest, because there's nothing in its way. That's why I say that. There's no competition until May 19th. None. So this should be all there is besides Mario. And Mario's been out for five weeks. The digital version comes out this week. I think the 9th. You can buy it on digital. So I would expect the, the ticket sales for that to kind of slow down because you can watch it at home now. So we'll see. I don't know. This is, uh, this is kind of surprising i know the forecasts and a lot of the analysts had been saying that it wasn't going to do that good but i was still kind of surprised by that and it looks like they might be right so this weekend i would expect it to make almost 
300 worldwide, 200 something. I want to say 220, 250 million worldwide. I think it making 100 something million globally and combining that to 220, 30, 30 million is, is something that could happen. I would put 300 million at the limit. I don't see it going past that, but I want to say honestly, it'll probably hit about 230 million. And people will say that's a great opening weekend. And it would be if people will go see it again next weekend. And I don't know if that's going to happen. We shall see. All I can tell you is if this movie has a similar box office to Quantum Mania, superhero movies are over. And that's Marvel's fault for pumping out nothing but dog shit after Endgame. They did that. That's their fault. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll hit you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.